Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. Today we've got a brand new reaction to a new Monster Cat Deluxe EP, Throttle Where You Are Deluxe. The original EP had seven tracks on it. This one is technically two sides, two discs, uh, with a whole nother seven tracks away. Obviously didn't get a VIP, uh, but Dreamer got a VIP and an orchestral mix, um, and Cities had an acoustic that was released earlier. So there's six brand new songs from Throttle four, five VIPs, and a orchestral mix. And we're gonna be listening to all of those. We're not gonna be listening to anything that was previously released. So nothing from the first half of the uh, project or the original EP and not the city's acoustic because that has already been out and has half a million plays on Spotify. So uh, we are just gonna be listening to the new stuff and uh, I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited. I actually got the pleasure, had the pleasure to see Throttle Live uh, in Vancouver some time ago. Uh, after this came out, I believe. So he was playing quite a few of the songs. Um, so I wonder if I will remember any of this stuff, because uh, obviously when he plays mixes there, or when you DJ, it's a little different. Um, the songs aren't always just copy paste or not, they're not just playing the full song front to back. Um, I do remember Where You Are had a lot more pace to it, if I remember correctly, but uh, that's besides the point, we'll get to that. When we get to that, when we cross that bridge. But um, let's hop into it. Uh, we've got Dreamer Orchestral, we've got Dreamer VIP, We've got Bloom VIP, Japan VIP, For Me VIP, and Where You Are VIP. So we uh, we will hop into it. So here's the first track. Here is Dreamer Orchestral Mix. It's a quick song. I used to play band. This is where I would have come in at this moment. <laughs> Okay. Okay, and it does go into, I heard the first little bit of the of the Dreamer VIP. It does go in seamlessly. Uh, so first track, Dreamer uh, Acoustic, Acoustic, Orchestral. Um, this sounds like it's straight out of like a concert intro of some sorts. Uh, I was watching back at the Odessa's last tour. I'm um, just, uh, sadly, I want, to, I want to get to go see Odessa um, this year, but... Uh, watching back at their intro and it's just how grand and uh, and atmospheric and building and triumphant it all is. Um, this feels like that. This feels like something that you would hear at the uh, beginning or the start of a throttle concert where everything is, all the, the room is black and there's just like a screen on and then just it, things slowly build up and then it, it hops into this VIP in some capacity. So, uh, but uh, yeah, like I, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's not a song I would listen to by itself. Uh, and as a video creator, actually, I think this is actually would work really well for some video. Uh, it has that kind of 
um, yeah, atmospheric building tones, tonality to it, uh, that can go into something quite grand or even more grand. Uh, and we'll see if that is the Dreamer VIP. So uh, without any further ado, let's hop into uh, which I'm assuming will be the biggest track of um, the deluxe. Uh, this is Dreamer VIP. It is that wall of sound right away. Tempo? Not expect this from throttle, that is for sure. did not expect this. Did not expect this in the slightest. Okay, uh, right off the bat, I, like I said, I did not expect that. I did not expect uh, an intensity, uh, just a brooding sound, like mid-tempo, like what the heck? I uh, I expect I genuinely expected all this to be like even brighter and fruitier sounds to all these kind of tracks something that's a little more like future bass I think um, but uh, if this is a sign of what's to come this whole uh, all these VIPs could be a lot different than what I originally anticipated or expected in a in a good way. Um, I'm a huge fan of taking VIPs and making them sound like very different. Uh, and it's not just like it feels like a your own little remix, something like take a whole different direction. And that was definitely a whole different direction for the track, taking something that was what house before and turning it into something that is just like a, yeah, again, just a wall of mid-tempo sound. Um, yeah. But uh, that being said, uh, stylistically, uh, the song in a vacuum, uh, I wasn't the hugest fan of it. Like it was fun and it was it was in your face, but uh, it, I don't know. It felt like it was almost too drowning. Like it was just too much of like a just, you were the same thing over and over again. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm also a huge fan of the original, and I just said in a vacuum. But I'm a huge fan of the original. It's my favorite from the EP. So it's uh, yeah, that's a <laughs> that's a tough one for me. But 
Not bad. N not bad. I'm excited to hear the rest of this. I'm really excited to hear the rest of this uh, based off of that. I'm, I'm, I'm heightened. My senses, I'm like, I'm like, oh, ooh, okay. I'm, oh, this is surprising me. So uh, here we go. Our next track. Uh, this is Bloom VIP. What was Bloom? Was Bloom the DNB one? No, that was where you are. No, this one was like the future bait. This was like the really happy. Going like intense future base here. <laughs> it's happy hardcore. It's funny that I described the song as happy and that it was happy hardcore. It's just such a fun song. I mean, in the right context, Happy Hardcore is just so fun. Oh. Okay, the Bloom VIP, uh, Happy Hardcore. Wow, that came out of nowhere. What well, we had wind, uh, we've got orchestral, we have got mid tempo, and we've got happy hardcore. What's the, what are we hitting? We got three more tracks. Are we hitting like dubstep trap? Like, what are we doing here? Um, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, another song that I will say is very similar to my thoughts on Dreamer. Uh, I think in uh, in context to the rest of the EP, it's like a really fun change of pace. Um, I like this one. I, I said earlier that I like Dreamer. I was very, very different uh, than the original. The VIP was a lot more different. And this is uh, not the same in that sense where it, it is very much um, Bloom. It just sounds a lot like Bloom. It's just a different genre. It's just a genre shift over. And so uh, that works well too. It's, it's it, I personally prefer the big difference of VIPs, but I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't hate it because it's not. That's besides the point. Um, 
But yeah, I uh, it, it, it's fun. I, I, again, like I said, like from Dreamer, the VIP, I liked the different direction it took, but I wasn't a huge fan of the song in a vacuum. And when I say I'm not a huge fan, like I enjoy the tracks, uh, but I'm not like, oh my gosh, these are amazing. Um, I just, I like Dreamer and Bloom just generally as they normally are. Like I like them uh, more than the VIPs, almost maybe significantly more, but um, I definitely enjoy the originals more than the VIPs at this point, but I love that he's taking a super different direction with the, the these VIPs. Um, regardless of how I enjoy them, I'm just really happy to hear that they're just, they're very different and he's not trying to do, he's not trying to rip, rip like have Bloom with a Dreamer sound to it or where you are with a, um, uh, what, For Me sound to it or something like that where it's, it's just, it sounds like it's very, very similar. It's just so different. It feels so out of left field and in, in a great way. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. Halfway done, uh, let's uh, hit up now Japan VIP. Let's go. Sky blue eyes, I see a world behind them. No more time, sinking into the silence. Reaching out for something. You Ooh, may is this the dubstep? Looking for a reason. Not to lose your mind Feel like you're caught in the world Oh, it's a trap Praying that you make it home I know you're scared Am I perfectly predicting this? Feel what you do not know A little more processed synths here Makes you feel like we're gonna get another wall of sound Wait, it... It's not quite trap. It's, um, it's not, uh, uh, breaks, right? Oh, an interesting little counter melody. Feel like you're caught in a world you don't belong to. Praying that you'll make it home. I know you're scared that the place you love is gone. Don't feel what you do not know. Feel like you're caught in a world you don't belong to. Praying that you'll make it home. I know you're scared that the place you love is gone. Don't feel what you do not know. Um, again, very different style than what uh, was the original. That's so different. Um, to, I, I did. I went and checked now at the genre, so I, I know the rest of them are too. But um, <laughs> it breaks. Well, we have orchestra, orchestral, um, mid tempo, and breaks and happy hardcore. Like what in the world? Um, Throttle is an absolute madman. Um, <laughs> Uh, I will say though that was probably my least favorite of all the VIPs so far. Um, it just I don't know. It just felt like it was these songs feel like they're they're a little underwhelming. I feel like the once you get over the I want to say shock factor of the different style of the very different approach that they're taking, uh, you kind of be like, oh okay, this is like again in a vacuum. We're like yeah, like it's like it's a fun song. Um, it's just not. Uh, not like out of this world, um, which I think is kind of, I wouldn't say it's what he's going for. I just don't think he was, 
Throttle really isn't trying to replicate the success of the original EP and the sound of it. He's trying to go so out of left field, so different. Um, and so, uh, and, and that's okay. And that's okay. But we've got two more tracks left. Let's hop into it. Uh, this is uh, the VAP for me. For me. Here we go. I've seen that this is, what, Electro House now? Yeah. there. Feels like oh. it's a mix of classic throttle we know from old Monster Cat stuff and the modern remixes that he does. Let's go for me. Insane. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, Throttle in his mainstream music does a lot of stuff like this. Does a lot of the big kind of like funky house, electro house style. Uh, but I think the when he come when he when he signed with Monster Cat for this EP, I think he kind of wanted to be a little bit more of a niche, a little bit more of that kind of um, calmer, happier kind of style um, that wouldn't hit as mainstream as well, like still do well, but not as like mainstream. This isn't like a Galantis collab or a September remix. Uh, and so I'm happy to hear that Throttle's putting or introducing this style back into Monster Cat a little bit. Like this is what he started with, like thinking of a what a next big thing, I think, or Boombox, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think next big thing was Throttle, but um, I may be totally wrong there, but regardless um <laughs> just uh to hear this kind of funky house style back on monster cat but to hear it to hear throttle do this on monster cat is is a pleasure to hear uh i i love his remixes his um like top 40 remixes stuff are fantastic um i i talked about september obviously um but uh yeah what it was september um there was uh the the tell me you love me with galantis um what were the other ones all in was another favorite of mine um yeah, so 
Oh yeah, found you. Um, yeah, so I, that's just a sound that was a little more made for mainstream that he kind of brought into this more niche package here. So uh, I'm really happy that's my favorite of the uh, of the EP for sure. Um, huge, huge fan. I love that. I love that style. So, uh, but let's hop into the final and longest song uh, from the disc two. Uh, this is the Where You Are VIP, the title track VIP. Let's hop into it. So this was drum and bass normally. Wow, he really flipped the script here, where he went harder on the quieter tracks, calmer tracks. Now goes calm on the hard track. Loving this so far. I love songs like that, that have like a, yeah. I I personally love songs that have a, a big a build um, that are like kind of really calm and then don't go too insane, um, but uh, kind of have just a, a, a bigger, a bigger culmination of something in the track that's not just a, a regular rhythm of, of, uh, of a verse and drop and stuff, so. Uh, that was my favorite of the EP for sure, without a doubt. Um, Where You Are for me was is up there as well. Uh, wow, Throttle really did a good job um, hitting everything with this EP. He was really all over the place in a good way, um, kind of just having fun. Um, like, if you look at this, this disc two is insane. Like, this B-side, this deluxe, orchestral, mid-tempo, 
um, uh, Happy Hardcore, Breaks, and then uh, Electro House, Acoustic, and then whatever you want to call that, the, the grandiose feel of, or it's still labeled as electronic, but like, that's nuts. Like, that's crazy. That does not work unless it's a deluxe like this. Um, and so I, it's just, it's, it's throttle really showing his chops, showing what he can do. Uh, and some stuff landed better than others. I would say like the, where you are and for me landed a lot better, I think than uh, a Japan or bloom. Uh, but, uh, that's overall, um, I was, I was quite impressed with the deluxe. I'm, I'm I cannot stress this, stress this enough. I'm really happy that throttle just did something completely different with this. Didn't try to make songs that were similar to the original EP. You didn't try to make everything sound just a little different from like, yeah, like I said earlier, like like make Dreamer sound a little bit more like Bloom or, or make Where You Are sound a little bit more like For Me. And, and he just he just went a totally different style. And I really, really appreciate that. I think more artists should do that as well, even though I didn't like some of the other tracks as much, but I did love some others. So it's a, it's a mixed bag of everything. Um, it's not supposed to be super cohesive. And uh, I'm, I'm really really happy with what he did. And I mean, Dreamer is also like in a way kind of VIP in some extent, cause it goes, it goes into Dreamer, just like a way that goes into the original Dreamer. So way to go throttle, way to go. Uh, I was, I was a fan. I was, I was a big fan of this project and uh, I'm, I'm really happy that this, uh, this is, this is out. I heard there was lots of stuff beforehand about um, there was, he teased this a long time. And uh, I, I don't think any of this was stuff that I heard live if I remember correctly, um, but uh, I'm, I am very pleased with this, with this project, this VIP. So, or this, these VIPs, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you like this new deluxe? Did you think the songs were needed? Did you think the songs weren't necessary? I wanna hear any and all comments in that comment section below. And uh, with that, I'm Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.